Alright, hi guys. Um, sorry I haven't really posted in a, in a couple of weeks. I posted a Miku cosplay earlier last week, but that's about it. Um, but I decided to do a post for you guys. Um, basically talking about like my reborn experiences uh, with Elena. And sadly, she is not here with me right now. She is at my house, my other house, with her grandma. So I don't have Elena in the room with me anymore. And it's kind of sad. I miss hoping her. But, um, yeah, so, <laughs> um, sorry, I'm, like, really tired. Um, so anyway, uh, we want reactions that I've gotten, both from family, some of my friends, and then, uh, some of the people that I've, like, come across. Um, and sadly, I don't have any recordings of any of them. Sorry. I wish I did. Especially on like a few accounts. Because the reactions were just hilarious. Oh my gosh. Alright, so I guess I will start with the reactions of my family first. Um. Like, okay, uh. My mom, I already told you guys that me, my mom, and uh, one of my aunts was already looking into reborns and uh so my mom and my aunt knew about the reborn doll so I was sending them pictures and sending them videos but I told them to keep her secret because the rest of the family doesn't know and I want to show her to them when I get home and so they didn't tell anyone and all that stuff and then when I came home I think Thanksgiving. Yeah, I came home Thanksgiving, and, um, oh, okay, yeah. I came home Thanksgiving, and one of my other aunts and my younger cousin, uh, came over to the house, and they saw me holding Elena, and my aunt was a little confused, because, <laughs> like I said, we didn't tell her, we didn't tell anyone else about Elena, so she was a little confused and she was actually uh, really happy when she got to hold Elena. She um, was very surprised at how realistic she looked and she kind of fell in love with her instantly. <laughs> um, and my younger cousin, I didn't, well, she didn't really hold her, but Oh, excuse me. But uh, my aunt uh, held it down for her to see, held Elena down for her to see, but she didn't really let her hold her, thank goodness, because that girl freaking dragged my American doll across the floor. I was about ready to yell. <laughs> Especially since my American girl doll, I have uh, Samantha. So she's not in stock anymore. So if something happens to her, I'm screwed because well maybe they'll have like parts but like I can't get another one I can't get another Samantha because she's gone basically she's in uh, the vault or whatever they call it what they think sucks they need to bring her back I love Samantha but um anyway so that was their reaction and then uh, I'm so sorry, I keep yawning. Jeez. Um, but so, uh, Thanksgiving Day, I brought Elena to my aunt's house, the same aunt who was with my younger cousin. I brought her to her house, uh, and um, the rest of the uh, majority of the family got to meet her. And some of them didn't. Um, so, uh, two of my older cousins got to meet her, uh, three of my older cousins got to meet her. Uh, 
actually a few of my other older cousins got to meet her. I'm like counting how many, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, like six or seven of them got to meet her. So their reactions were pretty interesting. Um, I was a little upset with uh, one of my cousin's reactions to her. And um, because I, I, the having Elena really did bring out like my mother instinct. Like I, when I don't want someone to hold her, I held her close <laughs> to me. Um, but basically, uh, So when I didn't really see much threat with my family, so I let them carry her and all that stuff, but I kept her still in my sight. I didn't let them walk off with her too far. <laughs> um, so when they, uh, when I showed a few of my cousins before everyone else did it, oh, once again, uh, no one else in the family knew, as you guys know. And uh, so, when I brought her inside the house, they were really confused, which I understood because no one had said anything about me like being pregnant, even though I wasn't, <laughs> and no one knew about me having a baby. So, and then when they found out that she wasn't real, um, they had asked me like, oh, what, what is this for? Um, why are you doing this? And to some of them I said, um, it's kind of like to help me build up to being a mother because I do want to be a mother and I want to know what I need to do before that happens. So, yeah. So this is the best way for me. I change her, feed her, dress her and all that stuff. Like a real baby, just without the crying. And. <laughs> My mom laughed at that. She's like, yeah, she uh, wants a baby that doesn't cry right now. And I'm like, yes, that, that's about it. And um, and with uh, one of my other cousins, uh, he asked me, what was it all for? Um, and I had told him that it was for a class. And he said, okay. <laughs> and he like commented, he's like, yeah, a lot of a lot of like schools should probably offer this your course <laughs> that you're taking so they can like see how it is with having a child before they get pregnant so they were all fine and then the cousin that got me really upset um that I I let him hold her once and then after that I really did not like her him holding her um, basically, he commented, oh, okay, first, um, and I'm so glad I told, oh, I'm so glad that, um, she was fake, because, um, he likes to roughhouse, so, like, I let him hold her, and he was, like, holding her really nicely and everything, and then when I told her, told him uh, she was fake, he like pretended like he was going to hit her and I I got so defensive very quickly. I grabbed her out of his hand and I did not let him come close to either of us <laughs> and my mom did not let him come close to either of us as well. Um, but basically he was saying like, um, like he kept commenting saying that she looks so real and all that stuff and that got us laughing it made me a little bit more calmer from that incident but I still didn't want him holding her so I, I let him get near her I let him sit next to me and everything and all that stuff but I did not let him hold her anymore and then uh, one thing that got me a little upset other than that that got me very pissed off um, but one other thing that I got really upset was that the same cousin commented and said that she looked like a dead baby, basically. And to me, that makes me feel like I'm crazy, and I'm not. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not crazy, don't worry. Um, but basically that, that got me, like, 
very, very upset with him. Um, and my mom and um, my aunt, who like who knew about her before anyone else, they like both got on my side and literally like got so upset with him and started arguing with him about saying that. And so he backed down and he, I think he went downstairs. I don't even know where he went. He just, he just sat down and watched watched a movie. And then um, so I put her upstairs in the bedroom and no one really goes upstairs except for my aunt so I'm like okay whatever she's fine because it was the aunt who knew who Elaine was before everyone else so I was okay with her being around her and um I fell asleep and I wasn't really comfortable with showing her to the rest of my cousins exactly especially since one of my cousins is kind of in charge of um, the scholar uh, part of the scholarship committee at my church that helps pay for my college and I didn't want her thinking that oh I'm here like doing all this stuff when I'm really not and so um, but the only reason uh, uh, we were my aunt was able to show her to the rest of the family was because I was actually asleep on the couch and when I woke up um, she was like already downstairs like showing her around to everyone else and I'm like laying down I could see her and everything and uh, so yeah I, I wasn't really comfortable with that one um, I knew they wouldn't do any harm but I, I still wasn't com too comfortable with them seeing her I was okay with her meeting my uncle. I was fine with that, but my, the rest of them, no. I, I didn't know if I wanted her. I didn't know if I wanted them to meet her yet or not. So, but now they know about her, so can't really do much else. Um, and then uh, Christmas came, and I may have to do two parts of this because uh, I'm gonna. I'm already at 12 minutes. Um, the Christmas came, and uh, two of my uncles who did not see her during Thanksgiving got to see her during uh, Christmas time. And uh, one of my uncles got freaked out because uh, one of my cousins who knew about her, uh, like, because she was laying on my bed, so when he was getting his coat, he moved my uncle's coat on top of hers and I forgot to move it back. So when my uncle picked up his coat and saw her under it, he freaked out. And that was very funny. And then that's when I introduced her to the rest of them and um, they were actually like really astonished by how real she looked and they all wanted to hold her and all that stuff and I let them hold her and everything. Uh, Although I still kept them in my eyesight, <laughs> but yeah, I let them hold her, and my uncle just kept laughing at how <laughs> how she managed to scare him so quickly. But yeah, so that was my family, and I will make a separate part of what my friends and random people's reactions are. So I will see you in a couple of seconds. Bye bye.